you know, it's that funny thing, like you look out in the world and a lot of shows, everybody's kind of hip and they're groovy and they're kind of really dressed well and it's all of that. This is the antithesis of that. The Messenger is an eight part, one hour drama, and it is based on the wonderful novel by Marcus Zusak of the same name. And it is really about a young man called Ed Kennedy, who's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a lost soul. And then one day there's a robbery at a booze barn where they're all going to get their snacks and their booze. And he ends up foiling this robbery and becoming a sort of accidental hero overnight. And then these cards start to appear in his mailbox and in all sorts of different places with messages. What he soon realizes is that he's been kind of called upon to help these people in these different places. You always were a funny one, Jimmy. Jimmy. I've missed you. I was sent the book of The Messenger from Jason Stevens at Lingo and he and I had done uh, Lambs of God together and he had read it and just loved it and said I think this would be you know a great series to do and we went and met with Marcus Suzak and his wife Mika and it was terrifying because he'd never given the rights to anyone. For 20 years people had been trying to get this book. Americans, people all around the world wanted to get this book and and so it was quite sort of nerve-wracking because we were coming saying we just wanted to do it here, we wanted it to be Australian, and it was an Australian story with Australian characters and we wanted to make this, this show. And, and he was wonderful, like he was so, he really, really kind of nailed us, like, you know, why do you want to do this? What do you see it being? And out of that meeting, we walked away with the rights and we never looked back. What messages? I was getting messages from someone written on the Ace of Diamonds people think I'm the psycho. The more we sort of talked about it, we realized that we wanted to update it. We wanted it to be modern, but we wanted to give it that sort of, that it was almost timeless, that it existed in a bubble. And Lithgow had such a unique world, you know, and it is oldie worldy in so many parts. It does have great old cars. It has, it's like stepping back in time and it's fantastic. Like it's beautiful and it has this really, you scratch the surface and you see so much beauty in this semi-industrial town. There's just so much that's really magical about it and it really felt true to us. And so we wanted to really lean into that, that it was almost out of time. I think every adaptation is is so different. You know, they're, they all have, <laughs> they're a nightmare. <laughs> it's so funny, like people always go, oh, it's an adaptation, it's sort of easy. And I think when it's your own idea and you kind of create the whole world from scratch and you create all the rules, there's a, incredible freedom in that. When you have a, a piece of material that is loved, it has a fan base that has, you know, lots of readers, it's terrifying because you're trying to, one, hold the intent of the original writer. You're trying to hold the fans. You want them to, to love it, but you've also got to translate it to the screen. You've got to make it work. And one of the major things we did with this one was change a character's sex. We, you know, Richie in the book is a young man and for all of us, we felt that that character was probably the least developed in the book. And when we talked to Marcus, it was we were sort of saying this character, we just need to do something with this character. And so changing the sex of the character was one thing, but also to really lean into what the character was kind of doing in the book, but really opening that up and giving her a full and very rich story became a thing that was very important to us. So there's lots of different things that you're constantly doing and sort of checking in. Is it in tone with the book? Does it have the same heart, intent, all of those things so that you're kind of creating your own unique, you know, piece of drama. I really hope that people fall in love with these characters. I, I'm so in love with our cast. <laughs> I just think they're an extraordinary group of actors. There's a line in the book which we all loved and we kind of use it at the end of the series which is if this one ordinary kid can kind of do all these extraordinary things and bring together this community in a way that you just would never expect then it means that all of us can do that at some point. So it's yeah it's a heartfelt message to connect.